Hey, hey, what is happening? All you mechanical maniacs, here's Quasar here. Welcome back to another episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Last week, we built this beautiful Corvette, or Bolt Roulette, right? Um, our Bolt uh, Reptilia, 1970. Um, we kept it, uh, it, I went a little over budget on it from last week, and the reason why is because I replaced that freaking little crankshaft pulley right down there and that's what put me over the budget but underrated in the comment section last week gave me brilliance right i have in my possession all the parts that i took off of the car so technically technically if i were to sell all these parts i would be under budget so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell all the parts, um, everything here, because everything I have, just to show you, everything I have here is still from the, from the build. I haven't done anything. So we're going to sell all the parts and sell that one headlight. Okay, so now we're at 730.81, uh, right? Okay, so if I were to, I'm going to grab my nifty difty calculator real quick. Um, last week we started out at 749862. You can verify that from the next, last uh, episode. Uh, and then we're going to subtract the 730, uh, 081. Right? 19,781. So we actually did beat the $20,000 budget. And she runs. She runs well. All right. Uh, I was going to actually, I was taking a look at it, I said, oh, I could sell it for 30 grand. Um, but I don't think I'm going to right now. I think I think it's just a lot of fun. Some of the crap I've built out here is just, uh, it's been a lot of fun. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to send it to the parking area. Um, she's going to end up across the street. Um, as soon as she goes black there, she is, she's, she'll end up across the street. And let's see, this is as far as, far as I've gotten. Uh, with the cars, so she's across the street. She's sitting here. Um, there we go. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep it. So, for today, we're going to head back into this uh, BMW GT... GTR? I want to say GTR. Yeah, GTR. Um, we're going to start heading... Build back into this. Now, i missing a tire on this. So, I'm... I think I still have to go looking for one, so that's going to be a chore. I haven't really done anything, but it looks like, you know, this is a regular V8 engine in it. Um, I should have, I may have all the pieces for it. So we're going to throw this up in the air. We are going to just go ahead and rebuild the front suspension on this, I think, for right now. This looks like it's a, in pretty good shape. So, hey guys, how's it going? As you can tell, my voice is getting better and better for each episode. So, I'm doing I'm doing actually pretty good. Uh, I'm very happy that I'm back in it. Um, got a couple of new uh, things going on with the channel, actually. Uh, a couple of play tests I've had. Um, I've had Creative Pudding, Creative Pudding reach out to me, and we've started a RevHead series. So... Uh, I was able, they were, you know, they were so kind enough to give me uh, a key to the game and all the DLCs, which was awesome. Um, they are talking about a Rev Head 2, if you guys are not aware of that. But there is, um, they're talking, they're saying it's years, it's years in development, who knows. I was actually looking at doing Farming Simulator 2022. Uh, but then I started, kept reading and they were, uh, they were, People are pretty adamant that later on this year, there's going to be a Farming Simulator 2024. I don't know that for sure, but I thought, um, if I was going to spend 30 bucks, you know, I want to make sure the game's going to have some legit longevity to it. Um, but I do know, you know, um, Farming Simulator 2019 is still going. So that is still on the table. I just have not pulled the trigger on it. And it's just because I'm cheap. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm just cheap. Um, and when I was, you know, dawdling on getting it or not, I got the email from Creative Pudding, um, for Revhead to, for Revhead, um, 
I got uh, invited into the uh, the rally simulator, the rally car simulator uh, play test. So that is going to be another episode coming up soon because they've made some changes to it, made some fixes. So I'm going to run through that again just to see how that's going to work. Um, and let's see, what is the other play test? Um, other play test that I had. Oh, Viking Frontiers, which is going to, which is just popped in uh, yesterday. If you haven't checked that out, it's actually really cool. It's like a survivalish type of game. Not usually something I do on this channel. Usually on this channel, I do, you know, cars, 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 and more cars. But um, if you remember, I did Northern Lights, and I just kind of, uh, I kind of shied away from Northern Lights because. Um, well, first of all, they, I had to restart the game over again. Um, I was fully in, you know, there was another, uh, developer that had reached out to me and said, Hey, would you, uh, like this game? And I said, sure, I'll give it a shot. And I enjoyed it. Uh, halfway through the series, they made some updates to the game to the point to where I had to basically scrap my save and start all over again. I wasn't entirely thrilled about it, uh, but um, I did it and did a few more episodes. And honestly, I could probably get back into it, but I just kind of, um, you know, other games come about. I think um, Ryan had posted in Revhead and said, you know, this is like an uh, Revhead's like an older game. Uh, it's something that you, you play around with, you like it, and then other games come out and you start finding yourself being more involved in those games and it just you know nothing against the game it's just you find other games that are just a little bit more interesting yes i know 2023 is dead um i'll tell you what guys on discord if you guys got a good picture of a good car that you'd like to see up there let me know throw throw a couple pictures in there in the uh, uh car mechanic simulator chat and uh i'll make that up also speaking of which i haven't done these either um, I will get to my signs. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's just been one of those, one of those things. All right. So let's take a look to see what we need here. Uh, discs, the discs can be refurbished. So we're going to refurbish the discs. There we go. Usually I refurbish the discs as I'm repairing. So that was, uh, probably pretty lazy on my part. Um, I should have done something to that nature. Um, because of this, did I did? Yeah, you know, I've got everything. Okay, I've got everything. I just wanted to make sure I had everything. You know, it's been a while since I looked at that and thought, could I, could I have missed something? You know what I mean? Um, all right. Looking at our inventory, um, things that we have to replace. Brake pads. Um, they have to be replaced. Oh, crap. Cross member. Well, that kind of that kind of ends us right there. Um, sway bar, that cross member is twelve percent. I don't think I have another cross member. Damn. Oh boy. Um, there's some wheels and tires that I found. Uh, let's see. I don't think I have many cross members at all. What am I looking for here? Uh, front suspension cross member B. Um, front suspension cross member. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my God, I got one. Holy crap. Where'd that come from? Cross member. I only got one. I got a D, an F, and a G. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, yes. I am not done yet. Okay, got that. Nice. I'm so happy about that. I, you know, you squirrel away parts and you just hope for the best sometimes. Okay, got the. Uh, okay, so that can be sold. Need that. A couple of those. A couple of those. Uh, Bushing is definitely steering rack. Um, is the steering rack repairable? I don't know if it is or not. Hang on. Um, 
tension the brakes. Let's see if we have a steering rack in here. Uh, steering rack, it is repairable. So let me grab, grab the 19. Let's go ahead and repair that bad boy. Yep. So everything's repairable. Everything's, like I said, everything is repairable. We'll get repaired. Go ahead and get rid of that. Um, tires, yeah, of course. Ooh, upper suspension arm. Bearings I need, wheel cap I need. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy the parts I'm going to need. Um, brake pads, yes, need two of those. Uh, front sway bar, only need one. Why I need two? Uh, inner tie rod, outer tie rod, uh, rubber bushing times 12, 12, yeah. Oh, I got 13, I screwed that up. Uh, steering rack we don't need anymore. Um, eh, shopping list, steering rack, get rid of you. Uh, Links, yes. Bearings, yes. Fuel cap, yes. All right, so I've got all that. Now I should be able to... Uh, take a look here. Brake pads. I'm going to put some of this stuff in a warehouse. I've got so many parts in the warehouse, though. Uh, suspension and brakes. Um, go ahead and put that in. I'm not going to put that in our suspension. Um... Yeah, we'll put the shock absorbers in there because that's that could be a thing. Uh, front sway bar we'll throw in there. Uh, tie rod. No, I'm not going to get any of those. Um, bushing. A couple of bushings. A couple of good bushings I'll keep. Um, yeah. 42, 40%. Yeah, I can keep those. All right, the rest of the stuff I'm going to garbage. I'm going to throw away. So we don't have it in our inventory. Go. Well, really bad bushings on that. Let's keep the tires for right now so I can get new tires. I need, I need an upper suspension arm. I don't know if we have that. Okay, upper suspension arm. Yeah, I've got tons and tons of parts here. RSTU for suspension arm. I think that's what I need, right? Let's take a look again. Suspension arm. Yes, sir. 21%. I can repair it. We can rebuild it. It can be done. There we go. Alright, now to get rid of that. Alright, so I think we've got everything pretty much squared away for the front end, so that is cool. Uh, we've been able to um, by virtue of just squirreling away parts from other cars that we've brought in here and, and disassembled, um, we've been able to repair everything and replace everything in our BMW here. The front suspension. All right, so that's done. Pretty happy about it, actually. Both the rims were good on it, so I'm just going to buy some tires, which I'll get to in a minute. Oh, i got to buy the shock absorber. Let's do that. Um, shock absorbers. We need. Just go to suspension because I know these by heart. Two of those. Two of those and two of those. All that stuff is not repairable. No matter what the percentage is, you can't repair the shock. So. All right. Done. Done and done. And I think we're good with that. All right. Yeah, some of these coolers might be a challenge to find. Um, that might be interesting. That cooler might be interesting to find. I'm not quite sure. 
go ahead and get the uh, bomb suspension. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. Not too many parts that were bad. I still have a bad cough every now and again, so if you hear me go silent, it's probably because I muted myself. You don't want me coughing in your ear, that's for sure. Good thing you can't catch a cold through the internet, huh? <laughs> My voice to your ears. Right. Okay, so everything is done there with the exception of the wheels and tires, right? And I had the extra bushing. We're just going to sell that. Um, that was a mistake by buying it. So we need 225, 40, 18s. 225, hang on, hang on. Sport, 225, 40. 225, 40, 18s. Boom, done. Get those all mounted up and we'll get them balanced and they will go on all right and we get to work on the engine that's gonna be fun that's gonna be a complete tear down that's for sure So let's go get, now I did, as you saw in the warehouse, I did have, uh, where's my BMR? Um, 225, like the 45s are on the back, 17s are on the back, the 40 18s are on the front. I don't get that, but that's the way this car came. So somebody can actually um, tell me exactly, oh wait a minute, wrong ones. Um, someone can actually tell me exactly what's going on with this. Um, did I pick up the wrong 225, 40, 225, 40? Um, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted the 17, the 17's on the back. Um, and I only have... 117. So, yeah, it's the 17 that's on the back. And if you don't believe me, grab this. Okay, look at the inventory. So, yeah. 225, 17. So, yeah, I don't get it myself. I think I would have swapped the tires around. But... What it is, this is the way it's putting it back together. So maybe it was a mistake. I don't know. So let's go ahead and separate these. I'll repair the rim. Okay. Verify 225.45. Seventeen to twenty-five forty-five. Yep, yep, good. Alrighty. And then we'll have the back go completely done. Now I was able, believe it or not, these wheels actually came off a car out of one of the uh, um, auctions that I found. And it was in the body, everything was in horrible shape with the rims and some of the pieces underneath were in decent shape. You know what? I don't know if did I I don't even think I, I don't think I got the suspension any suspension pieces off of it. 
the thing, I was just so worried about the rims because you have an offset of 15 and there was no way I was going to be able to find those anywhere else without having to buy them. You know what I mean? So, I know, and that's one of the things I don't want to do is if I can repair the items, I don't want to buy them. All right, uh, real quick here, let's take a look. The framework wasn't done, so let's go ahead and invest some money into that. Go ahead and do that. We'll get that all taken care of. We're going to go ahead and um, go ahead and tear this all down and see what I can repair. The rest of this body taken care of. We'll do the interior as well. Might as well, right? Is that part of the... Nope, that's the exhaust. That's The exhaust is the exhaust. Okay. Glass is going to have to be all replaced. All right. Oof, the interior looks like it's in, in rough shape here. Um, so we'll take that out, take that out, add, um, get that, that, and that. Okay. Interior shop. Green wheel continental. Ugh. Okay, whatever. That's what comes with it. That's what's going to go back in it. So. Okay. Enough for the interior. Interior's in good shape. So let's go take care of the body pieces. Let's see what. Hopefully I can repair all the body pieces without it being too much of a hassle. And me screwing up really big time. Headlights are good. Front bumper is good. The headlight. Fender, mirror, yeah, it looks like glass is the only thing I'm going to have to repair. That rear fender I was a little worried about because it was, it, like it was in rough shape, man. Oh, crap. Careful. Whew. Saved it. That was, that was, could have been tragic. Could have been tragic. Oh, was that all the body pieces? Windows? Yeah, I think so. All right. So the glass is about the only thing that I can't repair. Of course. Come on. There we go. Yeah, outside of this bad boy. I think the... I don't know what the... Original color was on this. I have to take a look. But yeah, we're going to paint it back to the original color too. And that's probably what we do with cl uh, classic creations, right? Is we put it back to stock as much as possible. Nothing, you know, nothing crazy. We don't put any high performance parts in it or do any of that craziness. Um, you know what? I forgot to take that off down there. Yeah, that's what I thought. I missed one. Oh, this one. I knew I missed something. So that should leave me with nothing but glass. Oh, we got taillight back here. Oops, missing that one right there. All right. So leaves me with nothing but glass. We'll get rid of the seats. Go ahead and get that. BMW M3. Done. Okay, with that said, 
We will be 100% on this bad boy. Uh, framework and body. And interior. Alright. Double check. Body's 94%. And that's because of the... It's because of the license plate. I don't have a... Did, it didn't have a license plate on it, did it? Did it not have a license It did not. So what are we going to do for the license plate? Um, I guess we what we'll do is just throw one on there. Um, let's go with plates. Let's go with something. Um, you know what? I am doing in 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 lieu of the Viking game. Let's go. Does, do they have Norway in here? M N O N N Norway. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, um, I'll, I'll afford to. I don't know if there's, if it's gonna need it or not, but. Norway. <laughs> okay, do I have one on the front? I probably don't. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's alright. We got rid of it. So that should put me 100%. Body's still 197%. What? What? Oh, 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 I know. Engine cover. The engine cover is not repaired. That's what it is. So the engine cover is um, a body piece. So after that gets repaired, and that'll that'll just go back in, right? So that'll go, just go back in. Um, that's all we have. Yeah. All right. Whew. Okay. Um, does there a transmission with this? Yes. There is an. Oh my God! It has an oil pan. No, 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 deny. All right, let's put you up in the air. We are going to have to drain the oil out of this thing. Move to one. Yeah. That's 50 bucks. I'm, I don't need to lose, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and take the gearbox out. Nice. Okay, it's 34%, so... That's a bonus. Um, the engine looks like it's in pretty good shape as far as... Okay, 30%. Um, crankshaft may have some issues. But yeah, other than that, I think we're in decent shape here. Let's go ahead and put you down. Engine hoist. Over to one. All right. Move it. All right. So with what's underneath here, um, what do I have here? Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's see if I can go ahead and repair that. I also repair the oil pan while it's here, right? Transmission's in good shape. All right. Uh, done. That's 100%. Okay, things that I cannot repair. Uh, coolant reservoir. Filters. Neither one of the filters. Uh, power steering reservoir. So let's just go ahead and grab all that stuff. Coolant reservoir. Air filter times two, um, and the power steering reservoir. So yeah, those are gonna go ahead and go in. Oh, um, washer fluid. Grab that too. None of these reservoirs are repairable, so those are gonna go in. Um, yikes. Okay, so. All these bad boys. All this stuff out. Try to clean up everything underneath here. Nothing's worth a darn underneath here, so all this stuff's gonna go away. Base. Okay, so what I need is what I'm gonna need. Um 
suspension and brakes. I need an ABS module. And I need a brake servo. Uh, electronics. I'm going to need cover. See, the ECUs aren't repairable, so shoot. I only have like one cover out of all those. Yikes. Most of the stuff I have, because they come out of the cars all the time, fuse boxes and stuff like that, I very rarely find them uh, in, in junk cars that I pull from other places because it just they just disappear or they're just they're in crap shape so they never show up. Uh, brake servo. Okay, let's go ahead and put the fuse box in. Now with this, we're going to go... Buying all new fuses, of course you do that. You don't ever, ever um, want to shortchange your build by putting bad fuses in it. Three of those. It'll be a nightmare. it just absolutely be a nightmare. Three of those. Uh, two of those. All right. So if I've done this right, all new stuff goes in. This would help if I was like at a different angle to where I can see the shadows of the parts. I thought there was going to be a blue one that goes in there, but it doesn't. Okay, so now that's done. Now I need an ECU type A. ECU type A. So let's go... I said these are not repairable, so I've just got to replace that whole brain in there. Um, radiator A, large intercooler. Hmm. Uh, radiator, yes. Intercooler, maybe not. Engine and exhaust. Um, yeah, I do. All right. Um, and then large LM and OP, large intercooler. Oh, I'll be dang. I had both pieces. Really didn't think I was going to have the large intercooler. I, like I said, I've, I've, I've taken apart so many different cars. I don't know what I have and what I don't have. Is there a fan assembly on that? No. Okay, cool. Um, that needs to be put in underneath. There we go. Is that it for that? Yeah. All right, so what do we have in our inventory here? Um, sell off all that stuff, all this garbage. We're not going to use any of this. I'm not going to even put it in the... Put it in the warehouse. We're going to put the engine on here. The next time we show up, um, what we're going to do is we're going to tear this bad boy down. Um, already missing a few pieces. Missing a cover. Missing a cover. Um, uh, exhaust manifolds look okay. Everything on the front looks okay. So, oh, we're missing a fuel rail too. So, a little bit. We might be missing a little bit of here and there. Hopefully, we have all the parts and pieces in the warehouse. So we will check that out on the next episode of Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. All right, this is Her Squazar saying good night, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you liked the video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. And by all means, share the videos across the web. I'll talk to you all later. Sir, I'm Sir Squazar saying good night, and I'm out.